Hello, and welcome to a short CMake tutorial. Something I stumbled upon when making a CMake project is that whenever I would change a resource file, it would not update properly into the output directory of my project. So whenever I would run the project, it would still use the old resource file to run the game that I am making. I am using a solution I found on Stack Overflow. Every time you build a project, it will run this custom command, which basically says, hey, uh, there are some files in this directory, copy them over to the binary directory, please. And this works fine the first time. Whenever I run it now, you see that it will build and the blue message is indicating that the files are being copied. However, when I change the resource, in this case, it's a fragment shader, let's change a variable and run it again. you do not see the blue line this time around. The reason for that is that it will only copy the resource files if I've made changes to the source code. Let's say I add another exclamation point here in this useless function and I run it again. You can see the blue message again, knowing that all resource files have been copied. So how do we work around this behavior? If you go back to the CMake file, we are going to comment this code that I took from Stack Overflow and uncomment this code that is right here. CMake should automatically detect that something changed and start building. What happens here is that we create a new target named copy resources, which executes on every step. You can see that the command which is being called is the same as before. Everything that differs is the way how we call it. After defining the target, we need to add it as a dependency to the project. In my case, ROE is the project name and copy resources is the name of the target that we just made. Let's run it now. This time around, you can see that the blue line is the first step of the build. Whenever we go back to the fragment shader, and we change a variable in there. We save it and we run again. You will see the blue line pop up first, indicating that all resources have been copied. And that's it. Good luck with your project. I hope this helps out. If this helped you out, I would greatly appreciate a like and a follow on the channel. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.